Welcome to the second lesson on static electricity. Today we are going to study electroscopes. An electroscope consists of an insulated container with a metal rod inserted into the top. Attached to the bottom of the metal rod are two thin strips of metal foil. If both metal leaves are neutral, then the strips will hang straight down, as you can see in the, in the photo. If, however, the foil strips are charged, then they repel each other and move apart as you can see on the right. At first, a neutral electroscope will appear as on the left, because there is no net charge on the leaves. If a negatively charged rod is brought near the top of the electroscope, electrons will be repelled from the top and driven down to the bottom leaves. As you can see, the negative rod is driving electrons from the top down into the leaves at the bottom. And of course, both sides of the leaves become negative and therefore they repel each other. Notice the leaves are negative and repel. If the charge rod is removed, then the electroscope will return to its an original orientation as below because it is still neutral. No electrons have entered or left. However, if while the charge rod is held close to the top of the electroscope and a ground is attached, either a finger or another device used to ground the electroscope, electrons rather than going down into the leaves can leave through the ground and therefore the electroscope then becomes positively charged. As the negative rod is removed now the electrons cannot re-enter because the ground has also been removed. The leaves are now positive and repel each other. We can watch this in a short video clip that will follow. The leaves of a neutral electroscope will hang straight down, as shown. When a negatively charged rod is moved toward the electroscope, the leaves diverge. And there you can see the electroscope isn't touching the top, but the electrons are being driven down at the bottom causing the leaves to diverge. If while the electroscope is being charged by the charge rod and you bring a ground such as a finger to the electroscope the leaves will converge slightly as electrons leave through the finger. The electroscope is being charged. Now we're going to ground it. The electrons are leaving through the finger. And now the electroscope is positive. The leaves diverge because the electroscope has become positively charged by induction. 